Hello again and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is the final video in this first unit of geometry and we're again going to look at angles but this time we're going to focus in on pairs of angles. Uh, there might be some terminology vocabulary that you've heard before um, but we're going to just review it in this video. So we're going to begin with uh, the difference between complementary and supplementary angles and then we're going to look at some other um, kinds of angle pairs that are pretty common uh, and we're going to need to know how to identify. All right, we're going to start with the difference between complementary and supplementary angles. Uh, so for complementary angles, there are two positive angles whose measures sum to 90 degrees. And supplementary angles, on the other hand, are two positive angles whose measures sum to 180 degrees. Um, really, we just have to memorize those, that complementary is 90 and supplementary is 180. Now, the way that I have kind of done it, I, I've kind of tricked myself into memorizing this uh, when I was younger, when I was starting out, is looking at the letters uh, of the two words. And, and complementary C comes before S in the alphabet, right? And if I rank the numbers 90 and 180, 90 is less than 180. So I always just remembered if I rank them, that complementary is 90 and supplementary is 180. So if that helps you, by all means, you can steal it and you can use that to help you memorize them. Uh, but if you don't do it that way, find another way to, to just keep these two straight. The complementary is 90, supplementary is 180. All right, the directions in this first example problem are to identify the pairs of angles that are complementary and supplementary. So complementary angles have to add to 90. And when I look at these three numbers, uh, 37 and 53 add to 90. So I want those two angles. Uh, the complementary angles are angle B, A, C, and angle R, S, T. Okay, those two angles are complementary because their measurements add to 90. Uh, now looking at these three numbers, if I look at 127 and 53 and add those together, we get 180. So our supplementary angles are going to be angle CAD and angle RST. So we're just simply picking out the pairs that add to 90, picking out the pair that adds to. Okay, this next example problem says that angle A is a complement of angle B. So what that means is that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees, right? If they are complements of each other, they're gonna sum to 90, okay? Now, we wanna find the measure of angle B when the measure of angle A is 36. So we're just gonna put 36 into that term. So we have 36 plus the measure of angle B equals 90. I take the 36 and subtract it to the right hand side. So the measure of angle B is going to be 54 degrees. All right, next example, we have a very similar problem. It says that angle C is a supplement of angle D. So that means the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D equals 180 degrees if, if they are supplements. So we're looking for the measure of angle C. We're looking for that. We know the measure of angle D as 117. So I've got the measure of angle C plus 117 equals 180. I'm gonna subtract the 117 so I find that the measure of angle C 
equals 180 minus 117, which is 63 degrees. Okay, we're gonna end this video with just some vocabulary, and some vocabulary that we just need to know. Uh, these terms are gonna be very commonplace. We're gonna use them a lot. We're gonna hear them a lot. Uh, this first one is um, adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are just simply two angles that share a common vertex and a common side. So we've got here this ray um, that is a ray to this angle, it's a ray to this angle, and then the vertex is the same vertex in both angles. Uh, you can think of adjacent as just meaning next to, okay? Uh, angle five and angle six are right next to each other, okay? Um, they are, are essentially they're touching each other on that common side, okay? So that's what adjacent means. Adjacent means that they're just simply right next to each other. Okay, next we have a linear pair. A linear pair of angles are two adjacent angles, so that's important. The angles have to be right next to each other. Two adjacent angles um, form a linear pair when their non-common sides are opposite rays, okay? So, uh, here's the common side between these two angles. That means this side and this side are the non-common sides. And you can see from the first video that these are simply, <coughs> simply just <coughs> opposite rays. Okay? Um, so a linear pair. Uh, linear pair, another way to think of a linear pair is they are going to form a line. They're going to create a straight angle. Okay, so these two angles, angles one and two, if they're a linear pair, they're gonna add to 180. Okay, the next one up are vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles um, where their sides form opposite rays, okay? So I'm gonna mark out two vertical angles. We're just gonna use two colors here, kind of two bright colors. Uh, I'm gonna look at angle four. So there's this angle here. I'm gonna look at angle five. Okay, so if you look at this, you see angle four, angle five. These are, in fact, vertical angles. If I fit it to the definition, um, the sides of these two uh, angles, so this side and this side are opposite rays, and then this side and this side are opposite rays. Uh, essentially, vertical angles happen when you have two intersecting lines, and then it's the angles that are across from each other. That's what you want. So four and five are vertical, and then three and six are also across from each other. Three and six are also vertical angles, okay? So two intersecting lines is actually gonna make two pairs of vertical angles. Okay, directions on this. Final slide, this last example asks us to identify all the linear pairs and all the vertical angles. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the linear pairs of angles. Okay, so I need angles that create a straight line. Uh, in pairs, it's two angles, right? So we gotta be a little bit careful with the, we can only want two angles listed. So the first one that I see right here makes up this line. And I see right there angle one and four. Okay, so angles one and four are adjacent and they create a straight angle. They create a straight line right there. Uh, the other one that I see is going to be on this line. Okay, 
Okay, so there's a line, and then here is a divider there, so I'm gonna look at four and five. Okay, it's common, let me list out a common mistake. I see a lot of people sometimes uh, look at this line right here, and they look at this and this, and they say these angles right here make a straight line, so they wanna say angle two, angle three, angle five. The reason why that doesn't work is it's not a pair. A pair is two angles, and that's three angles that make up the straight line. So we don't wanna use that, okay? Uh, next, we want all the vertical angles, and let's see if I can find a color that's gonna show up well since I've already marked up the diagram. Vertical angles, so what I'm looking for are two intersecting lines. So I've got this line right here, and I've got this line, okay? I don't wanna include this because it doesn't go all the way through the, <clears throat> doesn't go all the way through the figure. <clears throat> so, do I see any pairs of angles that are across from each other on those lines? And what I see is this angle and this angle. These two angles are across from each other at that intersection. Now the only other angle would be this one, but across from this one is this pair of angles. And so I can't include that. I can't say four and two and three put together. Um, so our only pair of vertical angles in this figure is just angles one and five. Okay, that's all I have for you in this video. Uh, this completes the video and it also completes the playlist on chapter one of geometry. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section below for me and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you found this video, uh, this playlist, any of this information, content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, I'd appreciate that. Uh, I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.